This is a drink made from raw mangoes and some spice spices like a black pepper and stuff. Absolutely delicious. Do you know the name of it? Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and uh, today I want to share you something because we all are witnessing a history that is going on right now. No, I'm not talking about the pandemic, that's an absolutely terrible thing that is going on right now. But there is something which is happening in the tech industry regardless of what's happening around and this probably is going to create a history. Let me give you more context on this one. Okay, of course, a big disclaimer. This is not a financial advice and this video is not trying to give you any. I am not qualified enough to give you any financial advice. I'm just a person who is enthusiastic enough to keep an eye on what's happening around me and hence I'm sharing this enthusiasm with you. With this, let's move on. Okay, so this is a commentary style video. I'm gonna be reading some stuff from my desktop up here and we'll share you all of this. And before we move forward into what's happening and what is creating this entire history, you need to understand a little bit of context. Context of the dot-com bubble. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about the dot-com bubble. In case not, I'm not gonna consume too much of time. We'll give you a short summary. In the late 90s in the US market, there was this dot-com bubble. If you have a company XYZ and you register in XYZ.com, that means you're gonna receive an insane evaluation onto your company. Your, everything is gonna just skyrocket the things. And this we term as dot-com bubble. Every company which is in the internet market or somehow related to internet was just thriving. And eventually this got busted out that a whole lot of companies were over evaluated and just to give you context five trillion dollars were just whooped out out of the economy just with this loss dot com bubble a lot of new companies were getting registered into the stock market and they were being over evaluated people got really over excited about that and evaluated their share and once they got into their real value it got fell down but we should not forget that just because a lot of companies and a lot of money was lost it's not all bad. Some of the good companies got into this entire ecosystem. Companies like Google, companies like Apple, and a whole lot of others like Amazon. We saw them for the very first time in this dot-com bubble. If we can take just the two summary of this dot-com bubble is, first thing, popularity doesn't mean profit. There is a whole lot difference between them. The second thing is, whenever anything is being evaluated in the market, their cash flow is being evaluated quite a lot. How much money is coming in, how much profit they are booking it, and how much is the expenses. That's it. That's your short story about the dot-com bubble. So coming on to the main story focused here, we see that in the US market, there are a lot of tech companies which are listed. We also call them in the name of FANG. These companies are in the top chain of the stock market and they are driving their economy so much. The reason why the US economy is so much thriving because of these tech companies, companies like uh, Apple, Facebook, Nvidia, Tesla, these are all thriving and majority of them are tech companies. But not a lot of other countries are kind of lucky enough that they are getting these kinds of tech companies. But here in India, we are lucky enough to have these kinds of tech companies being rising every single day. You hear in this news that a new unicorn is born. In case you don't know about the unicorn, here's a quick short summary for, uh, for the unicorn. A company is called as unicorn when their evaluation of 100% of their share is considered as for $1 billion. If you want to take a part in that or want to acquire some share of that company, you have to give money in that proportion. So that's your quick summary of unicorn. So every single day we are seeing that unicorns are born up here but there is a little bit thing that's coming up or kind of a migrating from this dot-com bubble as well. A lot of these unicorns are not generating profits. They are being evaluated based on how much you have grown and how much is the potential for you to grow and how much investor think that you are going to be valued later on. So can I say that this is a little bit over evaluation just like it happened in the dot-com bubble? Sadly, yes, this is a little bit of over-evaluation that is happening up. Now, the true potential of the company is seen in the profits in the book. Not everybody is Zoho that you don't take investment and still are able to book great amount of profit. A lot of these companies are just going through that. We will someday bring up some profit, but right now we are working on user acquisition and this management and that thing and ad advertising and all of that. And that's why we are burning so much of the money. 
and to your surprise, some of them don't even have business plans, yet they got great funding and they are evaluated as a lot of big giants, not unicorn, but big giants. Okay, why am I talking about this? Because this all is about to change. This is the new company that you should be actually taking a look on it. I'm not saying invest in that or something. No, that's that's not uh, that's totally out of my area of expertise. All I'm saying you is just keep an eye on this because this is a start of something really new. So in case you are following up the news recently, Zomato said that we are going public. So Zomato is saying that uh, we are going to be evaluated at one billion dollar and we want to file for IPO. That means the shares are going to be available for public to buy. OK, first, why this is a big deal? Now, this is a big deal because there is a lot that is going to happen in the upcoming few years if Zomato is able to go in public. There are a lot of issues in the share market, like there are rules like you have to show in the books 15 crores of profit and I'm, I'm not really technical in that part, but there are a lot of regulations in the SEBI that you can list your shares or not. I'm pretty sure that Zomato has got great team and they're going to overcome all, all of that. But the most important thing to notice here is that when Zomato goes public, Will public accept it? How much is going to be the share? Are company going to see that company as a billion dollar? Are they going to thrive their share up or the down? This is the next moment in the entire Indian history because right now we have great companies like MRF, Infosys, TCS, but none of them is a tech giant. And this probably can be a start of that or at least a burst of bubble. Whatever that is, this is something where you should keep your eye. Adding to this a little bit more, I would like to read you out this one. That company reported a net loss of 682 crores for the nine month period ended in December. 2385 crores for 19 and 20. And a 1,010 crores in 2018 and 19 and 107 crores for 2017 and 18. So we can see that they are booking a lot of losses. This is not a profit making company and share market is a different thing. Let's just say hypothetically, I have 2000 shares of uh, Tata Steel. I keep an eye on Tata Steel all the time that how much profit they are booking, if they have done any new acquisition, what are their plans and how much they are booking the profit. If they are booking profit, I'm happy to keep my shares. Otherwise, I like to sell my shares. And a whole lot of people actually drive the share market based on how much profit a company is booking up, what are their future plans and how much they are able to give me back in the terms of return. Now, are people going to trust Zomato based on their books? It's all losses. Are they going to accept it? If yes, how much? If not, how much low? Now that is totally a different issue about how much profit or loss or share ups and down. But one thing is sure, this is going to be an historical event because this is a start for Indian market that tech companies are now going into the share market. A couple of them have already gone through there like Nazara and stuff, but I'm more excited about Zomato because they have the potential to change the entire thing. And this is definitely going to change the Indian market a lot. A lot of company like to take a pride on calling themselves as unicorn, which I have no issue at all. But the true test of being a unicorn goes up here in the stock market, in the IPOs. So I think this is a start of something new and something great where Zomato is leading the way of getting things up here. Now, this video is not sponsored by Zomato or anybody else whole thing I'm excited about is this is a start of something new and we are all about to witness this history. So in case you are not following up this news, right now is the time that at least, at least keep this into your news feed so that you can be a witness of yes, this happened in my time and I, I saw entire thing in the news and I followed this up. And I'm pretty sure that very soon we are going to see a stock market, a whole lot of companies which are not just TCS and Infosys, but a lot of new companies which are going to scale up the share market and we will be having our own FANG style of companies. This is going to be a proud moment for all of us that we are thriving so much in the tech industry that now we are even driving the economy truly and not just the bubble of uh, these billion market and unicorns and not having any profit in the book. I think this is something really unique and I'm all excited about it. In one of this Economic Time article, uh, one point here says that company could be valued more than 53,000 crores, which will make it larger than one third of the companies that are part of Nifty 15 Index. Can you see how crazy this is? This kind of craziness can only happen in the tech and the tech related companies. Look at that. Facebook, 
Amazon, Tesla. This happens. This is a true thing that can possibly happen. But only time will tell. So on a whole short summary, either keep an eye on this news or subscribe to this channel because I keep on bringing all these exciting and new stuff, which I think you should suppose to know. So hitting that subscribe uh, button in the red is also a good option. Consider that and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video. Love interrupted by tragedy.